How do you lose to the LA Kings, who are last place in the NHL and the in the entire standings? You lose in a shootout. We got a point, I know that, but honestly, how do you lose to the LA Kings? I have I kind of have complaints. The Hawks literally look like they made it look like it was an even game throughout. But LA did have momentum for I would say the first half of the game and the Hawks had the momentum the last half of the game. And and the overtime, all the momentum looked to be on the Hawks' side to score. But no, they faced a goalie making his NHL career first start and Cal Peterson, who was the starting goalie of Notre Dame a few years ago. Something that frustrates me about this Blackhawks roster, they don't play full consistency. They play consistently to lose, it seems like, but to win, no. It looked like they could have got a win tonight, honestly, but you lo they lose in a shootout. We got a point in the standings, but honestly, we face the Minnesota Wild on Sunday, and I feel like we're going to be on a losing streak after Sunday. Because Minnesota's red hot and the Blackhawks are not. Let's get into the stats of the game and then I will talk about the shootout. First period of play, the Hawks came out more ready to skate and shoot. But after like the last first 10 minutes of the game... All momentum somehow went over to the LA Kings and they managed getting more shots than the Hawks. The Hawks were out shooting the <coughs> Kings um, basically 7-3 to three in the first um, 11 minutes of the game and then the Kings just started shooting. They manage out shooting the Hawks in the first period, um, 12 to 8. No, my bad. I now want to make sure I'm right on that. I believe it was 12 to 8. It was 10 to 8, my bad. LA started skating and it went into the second period as well. And so in the second period, Tyler Toffoli scores. By hitting is basically, I honestly felt like it should not have counted because Eric Gusterson was tripped in the um, neutral zone by um, Clifford of the Kings, and they did, the refs did not call it, and so the Kings took the puck up. Kovalchuk moved aside to open up the ice and to fully shot it. It went off of Keith Skate and behind Corey Crawford. Nothing you could blame Crow on there because it was a deflection off his own defenseman's skate. Then, after, by the way, the Hawks had three power plays. No goals were scored on it. They had more, more, more. They gained more momentum on the power plays after the. I would say the second power play they got, and they just could not capitalize on those power plays. And the Kings had one power play. They did not score. It was this. One of those games that was getting frustrating, as you could tell, I was when I was watching. Um, but in the third period of play, the Hawks scored 
two minutes and 39 seconds in by Brandon Saad being on the doorstep and Jonathan Tease and Gustav Forsling get the assist. So after that, the Hawks tie it up and, in my opinion, all momentum was on the Hawks' side that entire period and the shots were 14 to 10 after three period after the third period the second period it was 12 to 12 in the shots but no goals were scored after that went into overtime it looked like the hawks had all the momentum but it was really close that they would have lost it in overtime because Kopitar batted the puck and hit the post. I was, oh, I was freaked out because I honestly thought he was about to score because that looked like a go uh, looked like it was going to go in. But I saw the puck hit the post and I was happy as, and. So we went into the shootout after that. The Hawks outshot the Kings 35 to 32. But shootout came Jonathan Taze to start it off. He goes in goes out wide to start the shooting. Comes in to, more to come in closer. Gets a deke off and Peterson, Stones, Taze. Then, um, am I, I'm going to say it, the Russian traitor of Ilya Kovalchuk <laughs> got to shoot for the Kings to start for them. He went up first, but the refs were basically putting the stop signs on the helm and had to send him back to the center line. And he then took it up, and Corey Crawford froze a net, an easy goal for Kovalchuk. So in the shootout, one to zero Kings to start the shootout. Then they put Patrick Kane out. You know Kane, he's good at the shootouts, as everyone knows that. Kane went in, Takes the puck up, speeds up, slows down, backhand, forehand, and shoots it under the blocker of Peterson, and the puck did not cross the crease. It hit, basically hit the post to stop. So, the Kings can win it if they score here. Kings had the puck. It would be it, it was um, on Zay Kopitar to shoot for the Kings. Kopitar has it, takes it up, dangles, and Crow. It was a backhand shot, and went past Corey Crawford for Kings to win the game. 2-1 to one, technically, but honestly, after, uh, in my opinion, this is how shootout, uh, since shootout goals don't count to records, it really ends in a tie because um, that's how it really looks, but LA wins it, gets the two points for the standings, and that was their second win of this season in a road stadium. This Hawks team has no consistency when it comes to playing. They had it to start this season to go into overtime five games in a row, but now it's consistently losing. It's They may have gotten a point this game, but honestly, you should beat the Kings in regulation but nope, losing shootout, LA wins 2-1 to one over the Hawks. And now we have to face the Minnesota Wild on 
Sunday at 5 p.m. Hockey Fights Cancer Night. Eddie Olchek's going to be having his one more shift. I'm actually wondering if he's going to wear a Hockey Fights Cancer jersey. I don't know. That would be actually interesting to see. But honestly, how the Hawks lost this game, I don't know it's you don't lose to the LA Kings who do have the worst record in the NHL I don't think that they have it now after this game I'm going to have to check this out let's see um, I'm pulling up the standings they are running slow LA is still the worst team in the NHL they have 13 points the Hawks have 19 points in the standings. I just don't know what to say. I honest, uh, if we manage coming and playing full hockey on Sunday and winning, I will be honestly surprised after us losing to the LA Kings. I know Minnesota is going to be a tough battle, but Honestly, we are a good team against the Central Division. So, leave a comment down below. What's your thoughts on and takes from this shootout loss to the LA Kings? And, thank you for watching the broadcast. I know you did not enjoy the outcome. But, most of all, let's go Hawks.